Once again, welcome to another video. Before I begin, please hit the like button on the video to help it reach a wider audience. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The objective of this video is education, it is not meant to encourage violence. Venezuela, officially the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, is a country on the northern coast of South America, consisting of a continental landmass and many islands and islets in the Caribbean Sea. Its population was estimated at 29 million in 2022, the capital and largest urban agglomeration is the city of Caracas. The continental territory is bordered on the north by the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. Venezuela is a presidential republic consisting of 23 states, the capital district and federal dependencies covering Venezuela's offshore islands. Venezuela has been one of the world's leading exporters of oil but the country experienced poor economic management in the early decades of the 21st century. Former President Hugo Chavez, who died in 2013, styled himself a champion of the poor during his 14 years in office, pouring billions of dollars of Venezuela's oil wealth into social programs. The government of his successor, Nicolas Maduro, has had to struggle with plummeting oil prices and an economic and political crisis that has left Venezuela in a state of near collapse. The country struggles with rampant inflation, good shortages, unemployment and crime. 7 million Venezuelans have fled abroad to neighboring states. In search of better chances, some Venezuelans chose to travel across international borders to the United States, as of 2021, there were 545,000 Venezuelan immigrants living in the country. Chicago has had difficulty providing for migrants migrating from the southern border throughout the last two years. About 30,000 people, or the majority, are from Venezuela. Many migrants from Venezuela are finding it difficult to establish themselves in Chicago as they are unable to find employment. Many of them turn to crime, some create their own gangs, while others join already existing ones in order to live. One such group is the Tren de Aragua Gang, which is a Venezuelan gang that is already terrorizing Chicago. Tren de Aragua is the largest criminal organization in Venezuela, with over 5,000 members. The gang has since expanded throughout Latin America and the United States amidst the Venezuelan refugee crisis, with the growth of the gang following the migration of Venezuelans to host nations. Due to the severity of its crimes, fighting the gang has become a priority to many nations where Tren de Aragua has entered. Members of the organization are primarily Venezuelans. Although some members have tattoos, it's important to note that Tren de Aragua doesn't have tattoos which actually signify membership, Tren de Aragua is more similar to the other criminal organizations in South America, such as the Medellin Cartel and Cali Cartel, which don't use tattoos to signify membership, this prevents members from being easily identified. Tren de Aragua is also the first Venezuelan criminal organization to expand internationally, it has a presence in Colombia, Brazil, Peru, Ecuador, Bolivia, Panama, Costa Rica Chile and the United States. It holds a particularly dominant role in human trafficking and human smuggling in Latin America. The organization engages in a variety of criminal activities, such as arms trafficking, bribery, drug trafficking, illegal mining, kidnappings for ransom, and money laundering. The issue at hand is that the gang has taken over Chicago's African-American neighborhoods. In the south side of Chicago, an area full of hard-working people with a rich history covers part of the town, a town full of violence and low-income neighborhoods. This side of Chicago is known for its high crime rate where the possibility of becoming a victim of any crime is a 1 in 13 chance. Chicago is considered the most gang-occupied city in the United States, with 150,000 gang-affiliated tenants, representing more than 100 gangs. Gang warfare and retaliation are common in Chicago. Gangs were responsible for 61% of the homicides in Chicago in 2011. At this time, drill rap was just getting started, and two gangs were fighting it out through violent songs to see who could be more popular than the other. On one side are the Black Disciples, who are further divided into groups, and on the other are the Gangster Disciples, who are further divided into groups as well. 
rappers from both groups would put out songs criticizing and disparaging one another as well as deceased gang members. Black on black criminality has caused a great deal of talent loss in the Chicago drill rap culture. Up until their shooting deaths, FBG Duck and King Vaughn were the most promising up-and-coming drill rappers of the 2020s. Those who made enough money through their careers managed to move out of Chicago to other states. Rappers like Lil Durk, Chief Keef, Jay Main, and many others have left the city, fearing other gang members might assassinate them. The Trend Aragua is currently a notorious gang in Chicago that is taking over drug sports, occupying apartments, and hijacking them. Now the Black Disciples, the Gangster Disciples, and other gangs in Chicago they starting to feel the pressure from Trend Aragua. My study indicates that Venezuelans have occupied several areas of Chicago. They are currently driving and walking through specific blocks while firing warning shots into the air to the locals about their presence. On the 22nd of August, 2024, a man from the No Limit Gang by the name of Calvin was shot and killed by the Trend de Aragua Gang, his friend Cairo who is also a member of No Limit, tried to avenge Calvin but unfortunately he was caught by the police with a stolen car and a machine gun, as a result, Cairo faces prison time because this is not his first offense. The No Limit Muskegon Boys is two sets that are cliqued up, No Limit are renegade Black P, Stones while Muskegon Boys are renegade GDs. Their main block is 78th, 79th and Essex. They are most known for their famous rappers, Lil Bibby, G Herbo, and Juice World. A few days later, it was observed that 32 Trendaraguas had taken over the Black Disciples neighborhood at 61st and King Drive, also known as the Tunnel, where Black Disciples from all blocks congregate. They go by the name Savage Squad and are primarily associated with O'Block. Unit Sensory, I'm City West, person with a gun, 6124 South King Drive, caller says 32 Venezuelans are trespassing the building, showing guns in the courtyard and they have motorcycles in the courtyard as well, all there while they're filled, nothing further is unclear. Hey, I'm sorry, are you headed over to the shot butter to the 6124 on King for the migrants? On King Drive. Alright, 10 4. There's another available unit arrive at 310. We had multiple calls. First with the gun, 6124 South King. Also, came over to disturbance, large gathering. Said to be 32 Venezuelans shots passing in the building property, showing guns in the courtyard. They have motorcycles in the courtway, all stairwells filled. And nothing further. But members of Savage Squad had something different to say. Hey, I'm over here. Well, I'm over here, that's right, with folks now. Well, this is the building, no mother Venezuelans ain't took over a mother shit, thing over here. over here. You see this shit, this shit here? Shit so that's y'all oh, seeing online, that's the guy I'm lying. No mother ain't coming over here taking over a mother thing. When you thought things won't get any worse O'Block was invaded as well, Trend Aragua pulled up in O'Block and began shooting while one member was recording the whole scene while walking down the block. Wow, mira. Wow, for the 66. Hey, yeah. Go, go, go. Home block. Home block. Home block, mama, güey. Está por allá. Nosotros vamos por aquí. Oh, el malandrío. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Qué lo que. Wow, mira. Wow, for the 66. Hey, yeah. Go, go, go. Home block. Home block. O Block gained notoriety for producing some well-known drill rappers, like Chief Keef and King Vaughn. Currently, a new generation known as the Jado Jumpouts is well known in O Block for their brutality. This new generation is also gaining traction in the drill music industry. The strange thing is that the police are nowhere to be found at these kinds of events, even though Trend Aragua has taken over numerous drug spots and apartments in Chicago. Another thing is where are the drill rappers and their gangs that always talking about drilling all day, this is not to encourage violence, but Chicago is the birthplace of drill rap and black culture, 
therefore Chicagoans should defend the culture by staging protests to force the government to take action. That is all for this video, thank you for watching, please make sure you like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos.